And around about that bit is where I would normally play uh, the message from my, my sponsor, um, which during which obviously Liberty Flights. So uh, yes, Tin Your Tip is, is sponsored by Liberty Flights. Um, it is a Monday night, it is nine o'clock, it is time to tin your tip um, with myself, Gary Dibley, and the ever capable mod master, that is Mark. Um, so yeah, I, I haven't got a clue where it went. It was there a second ago, um, and then it disappeared. Uh, if you are watching this for the, uh, the you know, on the replay, hopefully um, the quality will be a little bit better than, than what it normally is. Um, We've uh, we put a lot of work in over this weekend, and uh, and I've been playing um, and this that, and the other. So it, it hopefully 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 um, it will uh, it will get better. What I'm going to do, I've got a uh, one of the plays that, that I've done, um, and and hopefully I'm going to try and do if you like a little a little because this is going to be um, I'm basically doing the pipe thing, um, and it's going to take a, a little while. So I'm going to put together a if you like. Before the start of the show, a, a little catch up now every week, um, which shows where we were sort of to date. So uh, it, it's also me testing out the, uh, the, the how this thing drives um, and where it is and this and the other. And I'm looking frantically for clocks and stuff and uh, just don't know where they are. Uh, they've all moved. Uh, let me play this in. I'll pop back into uh, again. This is a really treat tonight as a continued test. Uh, some of the music may be up and down. If you shout loud enough, at least I can see where it is and, and where the errors are. Um, it, again, playing, I'll have to play on the fly tonight. If we play this in, I'll pop back into. And there we go, we are back in the room once again, um, and the room is looking slightly different, obviously. I've, I've adjusted some of the shots, and um, no, I'm not pleased to see you. This is, in fact, the uh, the, the microphone. I'm going to crack on with our first little video tonight, and uh, and I'll pop back after this little bit. When I left off last week, I just finished drilling the three pilot holes I need, so I suppose now it's time to finish off the holes. And what I'm thinking is, this is probably going to be right handed, so I'm going to want a button here where it's going to fall naturally for the thumb. So this side will be for the control, so that's going to be that one. So that I will drill first. I want a quarter inch hole for this, round about. So I'll just drop down with the pilot and. Be a nice simple quarter inch hole. So if I remove the tape and get the tape off. The next mark is for the atomizer connector which is 11.30 seconds. Don't ask me what that is in metric but you want something that's slightly smaller than 9mm if possible. Just 
like that. So now if I switch bits. Now the larger one is set for 9 sixteenths, which is around about the right size for the switch hole. I just hope there's enough room here. That out slightly, it's just slightly too small. So. Right, a little bit of working on that. That now fits through nicely. It's slightly close to the edge with this lip, but that won't matter too much, as you'll see shortly. So I'm going to go back to this bit. And I need to do this one bigger. It's always better to start off smaller rather than bigger, you can always make the hole bigger, you can't make it smaller. So there, that's going to sit through there. Now, on these, there is, oh, my child, let's make sure there's a little pin that sticks up on one side. Now, I'm probably going to remove that so it'll sit nice and square, otherwise it'll try to sit off at an angle, and that doesn't help. So I'll probably just Cut that away with the Dremel, I think. Which I might as well do now. So, apologies for anybody that's been to the dentist lately, and here we go. and proud there, easy to screw in. And we should be good to go. Now, because of the way I want to do this, I need to make sure that this will sit in here okay. But as I showed, I need a tiny bit off this corner and possibly around here. So that's this corner. For that I'll just use a sticky knife. Again, it's just a trial and error sort of thing. So you get just right. is going to sit there pretty perfect. Of course this doesn't look the neatest of all jobs but that's going to be fixed with a piece of this carbon sticky bit of plastic which I intend to just pop into there. I'll 
help level it all up and give a better finish, I think. So. There you have that part. So not entirely sure where this is going to go, but um, filming a bit in the in the shadows because it's getting a bit silly with the thingy. But basically, we've got a um, the big old scorpion, and we're just going to start hacking away at this and see if we can get some sort of uh, sort of shape into it. Could all go horribly wrong. about sort of where we were thinking. Ish. Don't then get this from the side. That's better. Obviously making sure I've got this clamps in really well. roughing it at the moment. See that guy? Right, so we sort of got this to do a rough sort of shape ish. Um, what I'm going to do now, I've got the Dremel with the uh, sort of routery bit um, on the end. I'm just going to try and get some sort of uh, shape into it but before I take this any further. Now, I know that's a big 
bit on the end there. But this is, these are the early stages, so we're just seeing what we can um, sort of take out, as it were. Um, bear me one sec. Bet that should do it. carry on whittling away and I'll pop back into and there we go yes that that was obviously uh, in the garden um, a, just just a little bit noisy um, now I am hopefully going to be getting a bandsaw when the wife will let me um, but she's she's seen me obviously use um, the tools I've got and um, and at the moment the bandsaw is, is one big convincer I can tell you uh, it did come in really really useful um, doing that in the garden because next door has just purchased two cats um, and uh, and the little buggers keep coming in our garden getting caught and can't get back now you can kick them quite high and I'm surprised that six foot is you know, it's not that bad to do um, but every time they poke their heads over the top I was you know so that was on for hours on Saturday um, much enjoyment um, so yes yeah uh, let me pop into our first little ad break if I can find where it is. Um, I'll come back very, very shortly after this. Liberty Flight sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley.
Weber and I Weber Alexa. Best in Yorkshire for your AC needs. That's iweber.co.uk and iweber-alexa.co.uk. I Weber and I Weber-alexa.co.uk. Proud sponsors of webertrails.tv. Flights sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley. So we are back in the room once again. Um, what I'm going to do a little bit later on, uh, I, I would normally run run through the if you like the thank yous of, of the tip of the day, um, but I have I've been sort of a little bit a little bit um, lax um, past few days uh, in getting them up. Um, only because it, I, I've been absolutely hammered, and last night um, I think I was rather hammered, um, and feeling that very much today. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna we're, we're starting to get them up. I think only three went up last week, um, and, uh, and we need to gain a bit more interest in it. But the the big surprise for me is is that we're at about eighty percent of the target, which is sort of about thirteen hundred and fifty quid or something like that. Um, with a target of 1500 and we still got a big um, raffle to, to come up. Um, there is something on the cards, uh, something a little bit special uh, that I've got coming up for um, for Vape Fest, hopefully. Um, I, I will reveal no more than that at this time, but I'm going to show you a little trailer that may uh, that may whet your appetites um, just a tad. Let me pop into Mark's next little bit and um, come back to you very shortly after this. Right, this should give you a rough idea of how the thing's going to look when we're finished. With the control here, and unfortunately I haven't got the cover to go with this yet, it hasn't arrived. But you get the general idea. A button and display. Now, because of the way this is lining up, with this being so incredibly tight close to the nut that's holding it in place, it only just fits. I got very lucky with that. Uh, I'm going to epoxy this in place now rather than later as I can work with it like that. So my first job is just to cover over the display with some insulation tape for now because I don't want any of the epoxy slipping through and making a mess on the front. So this will just seal up the joints so the epoxy doesn't run away and this will only stay on until the epoxy is just starting to set I don't want to risk this getting glued in place obviously so that is ready to go I'll also be popping the battery holder in place at the same time might as well get it all out of the way in one go so mix up some clear epoxy So I'll just very quickly mix the two together. Let's start off with the battery compartment. I'm just going to want to even layer all the way across. At this point, I'm going to be adding a piece of ribbon to the epoxy here. So that's trapped underneath. And this will be to get the batteries in and out once it's all set. So, just push that down in place. Making sure the wires are well out of the way. And I'll do for that. The rest of the epoxy, I just want to run it around the edge of the display. Just 
try and avoid getting it anywhere it shouldn't be. Especially with anything that's got moving parts like the variable resistor. Or potentiometer, I should say, as he's using all three wires. And the switch, of course. That should pretty much do it, I think. I'm going to clear away any epoxy that's gone anywhere it shouldn't have. that one side and let it set. And while I'm waiting for the epoxy to set off, I need to remove the potentiometer from this. So grab some solder and solder in. Simple as that. <laughs> Don't you just love it when things go well? That's that one removed. And come back. Now I don't know if I want to get sort of the wires flat onto these pins or we'll put them through the hole. I think I'll try putting them through the hole. So to do that. Pretty much cleaned off. That's about as good as I'm going to get it, I think. Go down and wipe that. So that's that done.
inside. Right, well I'm back inside and um, I've been, as you can see, <coughs> excuse me, shaping a little bit um, where we had outside. So I've sort of now got a round-ish shape from the uh, from the chunk of wood. Um, I've left a raised portion here on purpose um, and this end bit, don't be fooled in thinking that I'm winging this as I go along. Um, really don't have a clue what I'm doing. Now this is sitting really nice in my hand and, and effectively that's what I've been shaping it to. I've been shaping it to to fit my hand um, because it's me that's going to be using it and I want that finger to fall somewhere roughly where the switch is going to be down in the side here. My next step, um, and I've realised this thing here has actually become quite handy to hold on to. I'm probably going to at some point take this down and probably leave uh, a, a stumpy bit on the bottom because that comes nicely because this is the uh, this was the roundy bit of a tree. <laughs> it's, got, it's a trunk actually. Um, this was a branch so it's got that nice branch shape. Now I'm going to try and maintain that and take down a little portion off here and sort of round that in to the this is the plan. This is it, it may all go to completely tits but that is the plan. Um, I've got good grain going through here and I'm getting some nice sort of shaping. I can already see how this is going to stain up um, as such. Now this isn't going to be your traditional pipe pipe. It's it's a uh, uh, another wood mod type thing uh, but it is starting to shape nicely. The next thing I want to do before I, I carry on and, and start working out what I'm going to do with this end is I want to drill from a switch. So I'm going to roughly work out where my little gold plated switch is going to go. Um, and I'm going to do that, as I say, by fill. Um, we know that my tube already fits down inside there, so I've already got my tube. Realistically, the, the switch is going to obviously be used to complete the circuit. And I want a switch on this. I don't want it to be on the, uh, on the bottom. I want to have that on the side so I can... My middle finger goes nicely inside there, um, as it does with most things. Um, in there to get that out. So I'm going to attempt now to try and drill up where I want this to go. Um, I'm going to try and get it quite low in the mod, so I'm going to draw around my switch roughly, position that up, and then what that will give me the ability to do is, is shape around um, where my switch is going to sit um, and, and carry on with this sort of uh, sanding. Um, now, when I say sanding, I'm using, if you like, a very small um, a little bit in there, uh, which is this, um, which is a little sort of uh, router bit for the Dremel, and and that is doing most of the shaping work. Um, really good. I've I've used these to death, and, and they're still going, um, and they do a decent job. Um, it's long winded, but once I've actually done this portion of it, what I'll do is I'll strap the uh, the belt sander in and and give it then a, a good sort of uh, if you like a rough sand with the belt sander. Um, and then I'll be sort of finishing, uh, he says finishing off. We've got a long way to go yet, but um, we are getting some shape in our wood. And I'm, I'm liking the way that that sits in the hand at the moment. It's, it's, and it will be able to sit on the bench as well. It's not going to rock around. So as I say, this will be coming out to roughly down there somewhere. I've got a nice angle on there to, to bring that up. I'll round that off. Um, and then we go into uh, to some work on the lathe, I think, to uh, to make some um, tortoise shell bits for it. But the rocking pipe, is what we can call it. I'm going to crack on, I'll come back into it. And there we are, we're back in the room uh, once again. Uh, yeah, I know a lot of people was watching in chat saying that is one big mother of a pipe. Um, it is potentially, <laughs> I don't know if it's going to stay, I'm, obviously the more I sand it the smaller it's going to get um, which is the sort of theory I'm going with and liking that one um, but it, it probably is going to shrink a, a lot more than, than that. This is, we're at the first stages, um, like I say I'd love to have a, a bandsaw but she just won't let me. Um, she says I'm, I would 
cut something off um, and it's, she's probably right to be honest um, a fast moving blade you know I wouldn't bolt it down and, and I would end up probably with a wrist missing or something um, I'm going to pop in to a second little ad break uh, if I can find the damn thing I'll come back very shortly after this <laughs> Liberty Flight sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley. Sponsors 10 Year Tip with Gary Dibley. A bit too quick, though. Welcome back. Um, yeah, obviously one of the one of the ads in there was was for uh, for safer cigs, um, and obviously uh, I think some of you guys have, have sort of seen the news. Um, he's he's a poorly led. He's dead. Um, he's taking I think the, the rest of this week off to recover. I think you need a bit more than that, Des. Um, you know, we wish you all the best um, and, and a speedy recovery. Um, I know that he's uh, he's sort of he's, he's posted some bits up on on Facebook, and I'm sure everybody's thoughts in chat are with Daz um, for a speedy recovery. Um, we want to see him. This is where we want to see Daz um, coming up. Um, I think it's in about three weeks now. <laughs> Yes, the 17th of August in, in a, a little place that is rapidly becoming, I think, my, my second home um, <laughs> side of Surrey. Uh, yes, in, in Tamworth, um, 17th of August. There is probably one of the biggest events or vaping events of the year. Um, absolutely huge amount of, of raffle prizes. Um, all your usual vendors are going to be there and um, I hear they're all giving away free stuff on the day as well. Um, free bottles of juice every time you buy a drink and food or you know all, all of that sort of stuff um, loads and loads and loads of uh, events going on through the day I shall be there I shall have me PA stuff um, I think there for, for the raffle type thing and I may be bringing along something a little bit special um, 
I can't give you all the full details just yet because I don't know whether it's going to be I'm going to say produced in time um, it's, uh, all I'm saying for now um, let me show you this this is one of my other plays I've, I've been the one thing um, I'm not going to keep going on about the max but the, the, it, it's good um, hopefully the and, and literally the, the improvement in quality is purely because of the if you like the processing speed um, of, of the Mac it's enabled me to up the rate so we're going out to 720 rather than the uh, rather than usual sort of 480 um, and also recording in 720 so hopefully uh, a much more pleasurable experience going forwards um, the worst thing is you actually have to look at I can see me in more detail which is a little bit more worrying to be honest with you um, let me show you this this is my other play it's got some absolutely cracking editing software on there just bear me one sec look at this. So I might as well solder up the 510 connector while I'm busy. So quickly. I think I'll give myself plenty of wire to work with. Strip the wires. Turn them both up. Sold on the outside if I can help it. So you know, all the times where I kind of get sold to stick to the inside, but it sticks to the outside, no problem. down in the hole. And done. 
So, this should have had long enough now to start the set. So it's a matter of removing this. And as you can see, this insulation tape has held the epoxy in place so it looks nice and neat. And that's rather hot. So, we'll be back later on to put it all together. Right, now the epoxy's had a chance to set and I've taken the chance to super glue the 510 connector in which I've pre-wired. That's ready to go. So basically it's just a matter of soldering all together now. So I'm gonna start off with the potentiometer on the board. Pop the first wire through the hole. And just tin up. Just saw the way in place. And repeat. Remembering that the important one is the middle one. That's the one you can't get mixed up with the other two. So if you mix this one up, the whole thing won't work. Quick down the solder right there. And the final wire. Through the hole, push it down. Also, I remember which one you're actually meant to be soldering, don't it? There we go. So that's the three wires done for that. And next, I need to do the power supplies. So I've pre cut these. And one of the wires is going to go through the switch on the potentiometer, and the other is going to go up the push switch. Just to make life easier. So that's that one. I'll take. Right, so I'm over the uh, the drill. Now the one thing I didn't check whether I had power. If I don't. That would be stupid. And some power on for there. Um, I've got a 12mm bit in here. Um, I'm just going to drill this out to a 12mm uh, effectively, trying to go through as far as the cavity as I can in there. Um, and then what I'm going to be doing is, is probably um, routing out the, uh, the bit for the switch. So I'm just going to go ahead, and uh, this is where this comes in handy. I've got something very, very good and solid to, uh, to get a grip on. Um, so let me turn this on.
believe it or not, that is perfect. The depth that that switch has gone through to is literally just broken through. Um, let me just see if I can show you. If I get a screwdriver and poke that through, I'm right at the bottom of my cavity, which means my wires from the switch and my battery are going to run pretty much uh, straight through to this, this end of this battery cavity, which is exactly what I wanted. Now, I need to go away and uh, on the um, on the outside kit, I'm just going to work that a bit more um, so the switch will fit and then I'll pop back into. Right, well, I have, uh, I've been outside and I've um, rounded out my hull. Now, as I say, I don't think you can see down in there, it's going to be difficult and like buggery today. Uh, but my little pinky is sticking out there nicely. And what that means is, when I've got my switch seated in the side there, the terminals, you can probably just see them glistening down there, are not in the cavity, but very easy to um, run a wire through to attach to. So that is, if you like, the position I'm thinking on me uh, on my side bit. So that will sit exactly where I wanted it to, nicely, it's going to be in the hand, it's perfectly positioned for my grip and my hold um, and that is just going to be a nice little dump on the side there. Um, use it with any finger you want. But when this is all stained up, I think this, this gold plated switch is going to be nice in here. What that enables me to do now as well is, is I've obviously left, um, yeah, let's go down a little bit more. I've left the, you can see I've left a raised portion around here. That will then enable me now to start shaping um, the rest of this in. Um, I know it looks a complete mess at the moment, but if you watch the Stumpy videos and you see how these things can turn out once they're actually all done and, and shaped and, and this and the other. But um, that's what I'm thinking for the switch. Obviously my top's going to go in here and we're going to have our... Um, Obviously our, our 18350 or whatever battery running down inside there um, and uh, make a nice top cap for it and chop this bit down. So lots and lots still to do. This is, if you like, the first bit today of, of actually starting to to try and get some form of, uh, of shape into it. Um, and when I say some form of shape, it is literally a form of shape. What I'll probably be doing um, is putting this to one side uh, just to let the uh, wood settle a little. Um, the holes tend to shrink once you've once you've drilled them, um, obviously as the wood contracts. But for a start today, um, I'm quite liking that. Now it may look like a a, a big a big pipe, um, but realistically, it's the sort of thing that, that I'm looking for. I want something uh, a bit chunky. Um, we could make it smaller, we could have changed the switching mechanism, but for me, I love this switch, um, and I, I, I want that big old chunk of wood feeling, um, quite like that, uh, it's, it's nice, it feels nice in the hand already, um, and, and when it's polished up and, and stained and, and we treat it with some of the linseed oil and beeswax and all that sort of stuff, it, I think we're on, uh, we're on a good little path here. Um, lots of shaping, lots of stuff still to do. Um, I'm gonna pop away to the studio, leave the rocking pipe, and um, see you in two. Hopefully this week we've got a much better quality on on the uh, on the video. Um, if we haven't explained, uh, we've got new. I've got a new PC. So here we go. Half a tree. How far we're we gonna go with it? Will it work? At the end of the day, will it look okay when it's all stained and polished? Um, this this one I think is going to be an interesting journey for me because it's it's testing my my wood ability yet again. I'll come back in two. See you in a bit. So there we go, uh, back in the room once again. As I say, th it's it's the the start. Um, I could I could I've I've obviously effectively. Um, drilled me my holes um, I can I can shape that down to pretty much what I want uh, and the switch is, is pretty much going to say in the same place and but I want it chunky I think it may change next week I do not know um, I was a bit miffed with the wife today um, because apparently I've had a package um, sat for me for 
three days that she hasn't told me about um, and it come through the door she tied it up because she had people coming around and put it to one side now I didn't even uh, to be honest, know this package was coming um, but after the pipe um, now you've all seen the uh, the problems that, that me and Mark had with um, this this was a pirate wood mod now I don't know if you guys actually remember this um, but we've done a few things with this firstly we've changed this out to me the gold plate switch um, then I put kick plates and this that and the other in it and then we did the um, upside down, the DNA uh, 20 mod in there that should have had a nice display um, but my display failed um, I don't know why I don't know how I don't know thing but this popped through the door now it's not going to focus um, but <laughs> We have a new DNA 20 to play with. Um, I'm going to be trying exactly the same. Uh, I want I want that DNA 20 in there and working. Um, so coming up, uh, yes, lots of playing. Um, this week, um, going forwards, we've got a, a bit of a mixed schedule. Um, on Tuesday, obviously, we've got Vapor Scene and we have, uh, following Marco, we've got DE Talk. Um, on Wednesday, I believe Dave is going to be uh, uh, putting VT Talk out, I think, um, to, to yet be confirmed. Um, on Thursday, uh, Dave is is flying. Um, going on, I think, following following week, um, I'm going to start getting some stuff uh, together. Um, and myself and Louis will be doing um, sort of like a haze hour type show. And hopefully we'll, we'll be able to bring in Daz and Sab and this that, and the other because I can now. Um, which is damn good. Uh, and on Sunday, um, I, I think we're, I, I don't know whether Dave's back, um, but I'm sure all of the schedules will be confirmed. Um, if if it's there, I, I should have read it and I didn't. Um, I'm an absolute gimp when it comes to reading the uh, the team chat, basically. Um, so next week, um, obviously, I think Mark's going to be uh, finishing off that rather superb um, very vault box mod. Um, and uh, and I will be trying to add a little bit more shape into the pipe. What I may do is rather than standing and uh, and filming me sanding for about three hours, um, I'll just bring it in in segments and sort of go from there. Um, with all that said, it is time uh, to wrap this up tonight. Um, many thanks again to the team and especially to Mark for putting his videos together. Um, it has been absolutely emotional. I hope the uh, the, the quality is is there and uh, it can only improve with me playing with the videos a little bit more and getting the sound right. I do believe. Um, good night, guys. I will catch you next week. Did you, did you, did you.